Hey everyone, so this is going to be a guide for the Data Ansem fight. Uh, let me go over my equipment. So Keyblade doesn't really matter for him, I mean you can just use whatever you want. Um, I've got these meadows on for a second chance once more. Now I think Counter Kick can actually be more useful in this fight because um, it the animation of it lasts longer and you have more iframes and it reaches further than Counter Slash. Um, as far as I know, so it helps with the mines that Ansem has, but I'm used to having Counter Slash on. So I'm going to use it for this uh, fight, but you can try out with Counter Kick if you want to. And uh, Impact, I'm not so sure about, um, but it's probably about the same as Counter Slash. It might be good for the mines though too. And then uh, right here are the flow motion abilities. I wanted to go over this real fast. Um, I always have them unequipped. Because if you have them on, then they're a bit slower and like if you air step to an enemy, it will do whatever flow motion attack uh, you have equipped. And I would rather just do a regular aerial combo, so that's what I that's why I have them off. And I'd recommend unequipping them. And the rest aren't a big deal. So let's jump into the fight. Alright, so at the start here, he's gonna summon these orbs around Sora. And this is just like the fight in Keyblade Graveyard. Uh, you wanna guard them as soon as they light up. So two of them are gonna light up at a time. And uh, it's gonna happen four separate times, right after another. So, guard all of them, and then after the fourth one goes off is when you want to air step towards them. And you can get a punish off here. So I was able to air step through the mines. Uh, but you wanna be careful with them, because if you get too close to them, then they'll start to chase you around. Alright, so right here he's going to summon um, beams of light around him and then he's going to move towards you. So you want to just keep guarding, it's pretty easy to avoid, just mash guard. And now so for this attack, um, a claw of like darkness is going to come under you and then try to grab you. And you can jump over it, like this. And then after that happens, uh, these mines that are around you are going to move outwards and then come back in and hit you. So as soon as they move outwards is when you want to dash away, like that. And then if you're fast enough, you can air step him to punish him. That's one way to avoid the attack, but you can also just dodge for the Dark Claw. Um, Alright, so this, in this attack, he's going to have this um, like Dark Aura around him, and then he's going to charge at you. So it moves kind of slow at first, and then it speeds up. But you just want to uh, guard it. And the third one, you want to delay your guard, because uh, he's, gonna take, he's not going to start it right away. So you want to just wait and then guard, and then afterwards you can air step towards him and he'll be open. All right, so he's doing this attack again. Remember to smash guard. All right, so I'm going to show you a different way to dodge this. Instead of jumping over it, you can just react to when the dark claw comes out and then dodge roll like that, and then dodge roll the second one and then you can hit him. So you can do whichever way you want to. You cannot guard either of those attacks though, so you have to dodge them in some way. Alright, so this is this one. Remember, on the uh, on the fourth one is when you want to air step towards him. When the, uh, the fourth set of two lights up. Okay, I'm going to show you something different here. So aside from uh, just guarding it and then air stepping to him, you can actually just dodge roll towards him and then use the flash step ability to uh, to like parry him and then counter like that. And that's another opening. It's a bit faster than uh, just guarding it or, or dodging it. Alright, so same attack as before. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't uh, air step in time. He summons these like... Uh, I guess like shots that come towards you and he's punishable when they're like when after he sh shoots them towards you but it's kind of hard to get in on him because they're really good at homing in on you but yeah so just dodge this he doesn't have too many different attacks it's over 
<laughs> Alright, so now we're going into this different phase here. Um, he summons these, like, uh, weird dark balls, and one of them is going to shake. See the one on the left shook right there? And as soon as they start to shake is when you want to guard. And then you want to you wanna keep pressing guard when you see them shake. And they're going to do it four times. So that's the second, third, fourth. They can dodge roll and get an opening right here. Or you can just air step towards him. But you don't want to air step too early there. Um, you don't want to step air step to him too early after the fourth shot. Uh, because you might get hit by one of them. So just like wait a tiny bit. Alright, so now he's going to surround me with them, and it's the same thing as before, just wait for them to move it, uh, move and then guard. So right there, and guard, guard again, then the third time, now right after the third time you want to dodge roll away, like immediately after this you want to dodge roll, because they close in on you, and you don't want to get hit by that. So now he should um, be out of this phase. Yep, so now he's doing this. Um, what you can do here is air dash, guard, and then air dash. Or you can dodge roll, guard, and then dodge roll. But just uh, make sure that you're dodging away as uh, you're dodging. Or, or you want to make sure you dodge uh, some of them because if you try to guard all of those uh, laser beams, then you'll get sucked into uh, Ansem's like, white attack. And if you're in the middle next to Ansem, then you get hurt. So, just be careful with that. I like to just dodge roll, guard, and dodge roll. That's the easiest for me. Alright, so right here, he's going to, like, summon these, uh, shots of, of, like, darkness. I don't, I don't really know what to call them. What we can do here is do a flash step and then counter attack, which destroys the mines and it also staggers Ansem. This is a free opening right here. Flash trip is really useful in this fight. This attack is the same as before, discard it. And this attack is also the same. This attack is the same as well. Nothing different. Alright, he's doing this again. So remember, dodge roll, guard, dodge roll. You can see them light up for when you need a dodge roll. And then you can air step for a punish. Alright, so what he's doing right here is he summons this laser, and then he also throws out this uh, dark claw. So this is kind of tricky because Sura is always guarding. Whenever you guard, you always guard in the direction that Ansem is in. So if Ansem is in a bad spot, then when you guard, it won't guard the laser. So it's safer to just dodge roll it. And then dodge roll the claws when... Uh, I mean, you can either jump over them or dodge roll. I like dodge roll uh, when they show up. And then, so you can you can guard, but like you gotta be careful. Because sometimes it won't register. And I didn't dodge the, the mines there, but you just dodge roll them like before. Those attacks are like... They're not like really complex. They're just like the the mines and the dark claw are the same as before. You just have to dodge them alongside the uh, the lasers. Now this attack is a bit different because you send out the he'll send out uh, double the amount of mines that he did before. But you're able to uh, exit to him after he sends out the second patch of mines. And see, one of them chased me, so I gotta be careful with that. This is the same as before. This is as well. Alright, so now this is his last phase. I don't think he's ever gonna exit this, um, like, darkness phase. So, what he's gonna do is be in the middle here. And these orbs are gonna move, uh, like, on top of each other. And so the first one is gonna move outwards, and then you want to start to guard. Like when it's done moving outwards, is when you want to guard. You can just hold guard, and then right after that, it's gonna move towards you, and you want to dodge roll past it like that. And now this one you want to guard, and you you might want to guard a bit earlier than the last one because it shoots out really fast. So guard. Then this one is different because you have to actually actively press guard over and over to guard all the shots because not all of them hit you. 
And then you want to dodge roll it, and now there's an opening. Alright, so this attack is actually a little bit tricky to dodge. Um, you cannot guard these. These, like, weird orbs, blue and dark orbs. You want to dodge roll them, but you have to dodge roll earlier than you think you do. So, like, right here is when you dodge roll. It, it might seem like you have to dodge roll, uh... Um, it might seem like you have to dodge roll later, but you have to dodge roll, like, pretty early for them. So just, just dodge roll them as you see them come over. And then he's opening right here. He's opening right here. <laughs> Talking is hard for me. Alright. And now he's shooting out uh, these... He's doing the same attack as the, the beginning of this phase, but now there are lasers here. But the lasers don't really add anything because you're just going to be guarding the whole time anyway. So just don't really pay attention to them. Alright, so this is the same attack as um, like the middle of the fight when he entered this phase. One of them is going to shake and then you just guard it. Keep guarding. Dodge roll, get an opening. Okay, now this attack is the one that he did um, earlier in the fight. That's pretty tricky. Dodge a claw. You can guard the lasers. Dodge roll with the mines. Alright. Now this attack is probably the hardest DM to dodge IMO. Um, he's gonna shoot out these like really big orbs at you. And so I like to dodge the first ones by dodge rolling through them. And now right here I like to do an air dash because it's really hard to dodge roll the three of them at once. So you air dash, double flight, and then air dash through the next three. Now this one you can air dash or dodge roll. Um, I like to dodge roll because then it's easier to dodge a second attack afterwards. But um, you have to time your dodge roll really well. So like that, then you can dodge roll these two, and now you're good. And he should be open right here. Alright, let me see what his next attack is. Okay, so... He's doing the, uh, the attack that he did earlier as well, but this time he threw out mines. But you can uh, d deal with it the same way, where you just guard. You do it one more time, and then you want to dodge roll. And now you can air step and get an opening. But watch out for the mines, because they'll probably come after you if you move too close to them. But yeah, that was every attack that Ansem has. Um, I hope the guide was useful. Most of his attacks are like pretty simple to dodge. What he likes to do is mix up multiple different attacks into like the same attack. So you have to deal with multiple things at once. And it can be kind of overwhelming. But as long as you know how to deal with it, then it's not too bad. Uh, but I hope this guide was helpful. Also, something else to mention is um, some of his attacks when he's in the dark phase will cause you status ailments like fire or like they'll burn you or they'll, um, they'll give you the cloud status ailment or they'll make you sneeze. So... If you want to have protection against those, uh, that would be useful. Or you can just avoid them. But yeah, I hope the guide was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or DM me, or ask me in Twitch chat. But I will see you in the next guide.